Hello. Um, so, I've learned through the last three times I've done this that I really gotta do the videos first, at least get all of the sequels out of the way before I start reading the next set of books because then the details start to mesh together in my brainy bits. So, let's do that first. Um, this book is a short story. It is called The Gentleman's Guide to Getting Lucky. And it's a continuation, like, right after the end of Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. And it's about, um, Monty trying to sleep with Percy. It's not going well. Um, yeah, so, uh, because part of it is that, like, yeah, Monty slept with a bunch of people before, but Percy is a virgin, and Monty, like, wants it to be special for them, I guess, because, like, it's Percy. It's not just, like some person that he doesn't necessarily care about it's percy like come on um yeah so uh they try to do things and like monty is really worried about being left alone felicity um like facilitates them being alone because they're at this point they're still with the crew um but yeah uh so things go kind of awkwardly for a while they have a small fight and then they make up the next morning and monty's all emotional because he doesn't think that he's good for percy it's really sad monty is my sweet boy <laughs> but yeah the book is really funny so they have because they they have to work on trusting each other and monty needs to trust himself and trust that like percy wouldn't be with him if he didn't think he was good um so they don't actually end up having sex in this book i have read the other one which is in this round of books they ha they're nauseating together <laughs> in that book but um yeah i like Mackenzie lee and if she writes things after she's done with um the montague siblings i will read them because there's one book left and it comes out in december but yeah um Monty is so sweet, but he's short-sighted and dumb, but he has that luxury. Personally, and Felicity do not. Um, it's a cute book, and uh, I really gotta start remembering to open the list before I start filming these videos. But um, we were off to a great start, and then it just went downhill. The Gentleman's Guide to Getting Lucky is fourth on the list. A good, the, the good books list, or the would read again list. Um, so, the next book is not, I don't believe it's on that, that list, it's, it's, yeah, it's not. It's 17th on the, um, wouldn't read again list out of 19, so it's, I didn't think it was good. Um, From the Darkness by E.L. King is a 2016 book. Its genres are vampire lit and occult fiction. There was no romance indicated. It's free, so I gave it a shot. It's the first book in the Blackwood Vampire series. Uh, Grace doesn't like vampires. She was born to heart, hunt, heart. She was born to hunt. The darkness is where the vampires live. Um, she like gets kidnapped there by some vampires. She doesn't end up wanting to kill them, and she ends up having feelings for one. God help me. <laughs> I put Google. You lie. You lie like the cat. Um, Grace's family was killed by vampires and she was raised by n normies. She, like, attends normal school. Um, yeah, she's, like, she, like, pretends to be hard, but she doesn't have any reason to, like, yeah, her parents are dead, but, like, nothing else in her life bad has happened. It's not really indicated that she's killed many other vampires. I suppose she has, but it doesn't, we aren't told that she has. Um, so she gets kidnapped by two vampires called Drake and Knox. The leader of them, William, he says that, um, she is a guest and not a prisoner. He thinks she's pretty. Her sister might be dead. Did I mention she has a sister? She has a sister. I don't know if there's, like, if she's, like, an adoptive sister or if that's their actual sister. Because her sister is very nonchalant about all of this. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, William needs her because the darkness is being threatened and apparently Grace is inhuman. And I love how whenever the main character has like a sibling 
and they share parents or at least one parent we never talk about the fact that that means that the other sibling is not entirely human either but whatever i suppose um grace's parents like helped william there's something called the guardianship that's looking for darkness i think they want to kill they want to destroy the darkness and therefore destroy all the vampires i have no idea william wants to sleep with grace or william and all of his brothers want to sleep with grace so that's cool um cole was one of grace's friends from like her normie life and he was supposed to bring grace to the guardianship when she turned 18 but now she's been kidnapped and now he's got to find her so her parents died protecting the darkness I don't remember how, why. Also, her mom was a siren. Is that supposed to amount to anything? It doesn't in this book. Um, Drake is uh, the shithead brother, and he attacks Grace. William wants her to leave, but Grace loves him. The plot would probably be better developed if the love story wasn't there. I wish Google had indicated that there was a love story in this, because I probably wouldn't have read it. Like... <sighs> she says him at one point that he's not a monster. Saying that a vampire isn't a monster rips the balls right off of this book. It's so annoying. Like... <sighs> and then there's sirens in this book, because her mom was a siren, but it was never indicated to me that there were other creatures in this book. I suppose that there are also witches in this book, but I don't... Okay. Um... Also, why does I hate X not apply when one of them is pretty? Every, like, in terms of, like, race, every race has pretty people. Like, you can't... If you date someone, if you don't, this is like, because I, I hate it when people say things like this, but if you don't date a certain race because you don't like that race because you're racist, but then you do date one of them solely because they're pretty, that's still racism. Like, that's still awful. I don't know. I also find it hard to believe that after three days in the darkness, you can, uh, you can, like, not hate vampires anymore, especially when you feel like they killed your family. I clearly have learned nothing from the sweetest kill. I just, I can't even, dude. 